हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग फार्माकोलॉजी ऑफ काइनेंस इन अवर लास्ट वीडियो दैट इज ऑटोक्वाइट टेन लेट्स नाउ डिस्कस रोल ऑफ काइनेंस इन मीडिएटिंग इन्फ्लामेशन एंड एंजियो एडिमा नाउ दिस वीडियो इज इलेवेंथ इन द सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज ऑन ऑटोक्वाइट्स नाउ बाय नाउ वी नो दैट ब्रैडिकाइन एंड कैलेडिन आर पोर्टेंट वेजो डायलेटस दे डायलेट द ब्लड वेसल्स and these kinins are also very strong or very potent inflammatory mediators and large amount of bradykinin and kaladin are produced during inflammation now these kinins they further enhance or they further accelerate the inflammatory response now if kinins are produced in excessively large amounts they can increase inflammation to such an extent that it can cause angioedema and this angioedema can be life threatening now let's discuss why kinins are strong inflammatory mediators and how they produce angioedema now look at this figure this is an arteriole now in the most lining of the arteriole is made up of endothelium now kinin stimulates the production of prostacyclin that is pgi2 and endothelium derived relaxing factor that is nitric oxide from the endothelium now both these factors they cause or they produce excessive vasodilation so as it is shown here in this diagram the diameter of the blood vessel increases now the volume of blood that is supplied to this blood vessel increases now this produces flushing or the redness in the area supplied by this blood vessel now vasodilation also increases vascular permeability the blood vessel now becomes permeable content of the blood vessel can now move outside the blood vessel now as is clear from the diagram spaces between these endothelial cells increase and thus plasma from the blood it escapes and it moves into the adjoining tissues now plasma here is shown in the yellow color so this movement of plasma from the blood vessel to the tissues is called as exudation of plasma further to this accumulation of plasma causes edema or swelling now apart from this the leukocytes or the wbcs from within the blood vessels they also migrate and they also start accumulating in the tissues this is termed as mobilization of the leukocytes now this is a macrophage macrophage also develops from uh, wbc that is the monocyte now kinins further stimulate these macrophages to produce inflammatory mediators like uh, interleukin 1 tumor necrotic factor alpha apart from this many inflammatory mediators are produced like histamine now all these mediate uh, all these inflammatory mediators they further enhance and they further extend the process of inflammation uh, thus kinins are inflammatory mediators and signs of inflammation include redness because of vasodilation exudation of uh, plasma uh, because of the uh, increase in vascular permeability then swelling because of the accumulation of uh, fluid in the tissues leukocyte migration so these are all signs of the inflammation now as we have seen inflammation causes accumulation of fluid in the tissues so this results in edema or swelling now if these fluids they accumulate in deeper layer of the skin it produces angioedema so angioedema is caused because of inflammation and angioedema is characterized by swelling now swelling can occur in any part of the body but most commonly it affects lip uh, lips and the eyes then face hand feet and genitals now many people also experience red rashes on the skin now if the inflammation causes swelling of tongue pharynx uh, larynx then the person is unable to breathe and angioedema becomes life threatening now episode of angioedema commonly lasts for about 1 to 3 days 
and it usually gets better on its own. Now, production of large quantities of kinins during inflammation mediates acute as well as chronic pain. Now, kinins produce pain by two methods. They directly stimulate sensory nerve endings of the skin. Stimulation of this, these nerve endings transmit pain and further they produce pain. Now, apart from this, uh, kinins also stimulate production of prostaglandins and prostaglandins also cause pain. Now, look at this reaction. This shows how bradykinin is metabolized or how bradykinin is broken down to inactive peptides. Now, bradykinin is metabolized by ACE. Uh, ACE is the angiotensin converting enzyme. Now, this enzyme is also called as kinase 2. So, angiotensin converting enzyme breaks bradykinin to inactive peptides. Now, if ACE inhibitors are used, bradykinin is not broken down. This causes accumulation of bradykinin. So, use of ACE inhibitors like uh, captopril and nalapril cause accumulation of bradykinin and accumulation of bradykinin can cause dry cuff and they can also produce angioedema. So, this is in brief on how kinins produce inflammation and angioedema. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.